Hundred percent. Top eighting majors. I can absolutely see like both of these players making deep runs at like Don't Park. Coming oh up soon. yeah, coming up soon. Not actually not even two months away. A little bit under that, like six weeks. Something like that. Yeah. We we're gonna be excited for Don't Park on the grass. Um, Are you gone? You know it's funny. I bought my flight. Yeah. Um, but for some reason something just forgot to tell me to register. <laughs> so of course your boy's on the well, hunt. Well. Have I got the giveaway for you? Oh. If you want to donate to Daddy's Den to support the tournament, you will be entered into a Don't Park on the Grass Pass Whoa. giveaway. Oh, I might have to. Courtesy actually. of Al. <laughs> I might have to make that happen. I cannot believe I just flawlessly plugged that. Hey, you know what? Cal will be very proud of you. He's probably lurking right now. It's like overlooking, like, yes. Yes. Talk about yes, it. Yes, he's doing it. He's Talk doing the thing. He's a hard to miss guy. He's in the middle. He's kind of running things right now, trying to make sure everybody's in the right place. Shout out to Cal. Shout out Cal. Jesus Christ, putting this putting this entire event together, man. You know, with the help, of course, with his lovely community. Yes. It's it's a blast, man. I'm actually really happy to be here. I think it's like the first time you guys are in this venue, right? Yes. We've never been in the convention center before. Okay. And, so that's um, awesome. This is. This has been Cal's like dream venue since I've known him. So <laughs> you got it happen. You got um, it to happen. We we finally got it to happen. I'm very happy about it. Yeah. All right. So here we go. Our next set here for stream. I'm kind of curious to see what Spicy Boy and Porkster play. We'll see. But surprising I think characters. we I think we know what J Jod J D B are going to be running. You know. They're, they're, it's their tried and true like oh. characters. Yo, oh. Violet on stream. This is my man. <laughs> This is my main. Byleth and Ludwig. That is a team. I like to see what this team's going to cook up here as JDV, JJ, ready to keep it going. I'm trying to see if they can take their doubles trip, but I don't know. Spicy Boy Porkster, they look like they can make an upset. They got they got an interesting composition here. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see what the potential synergies here are because uh, I, I feel like there's very obvious synergies with um, yeah. Pac-Man and Kirby, but I don't see anything immediately obvious with, um, you know, the, the, the junior in the bio. Yeah. And you can kind of already see both players, they kind of just understand their assignments right now, just kind of going straight into their own 1v1s on each side of the stage. You got Spicy Boy on the Violet, you got Porkster on the Ludwig. Let's see, let's see if they can take a stock here to start things off. It would be nice, but they are ever so slightly trailing in damage, which obviously doesn't matter as much in the immediate like beginning of the game, like Violet is just a character who can throw out a down air and wow. sometimes you will just die. <laughs> oh, and JJ losing the first stock. Unfortunate. Spicy Boy being able to execute with that force. Right, yeah, that was an ambitious forward <laughs> smash. My friend, you were going to get punished for that every day of the week. Oh, man. Yeah, and notice also why Kirby is such a scary character in dubs. He can kind of just take his opponent's or his teammate's ability and having the ability to have charge up fruit on both sides of the steam. Yeah, my gosh. It's it's scary for sure, but just like that, Spicy Boy's down two stocks oh. in the blink of an eye. Spicy Boy, yeah, I actually didn't even notice he dropped that second stock already. And Already, JDV looking very comfortable, pretty much in their zen state right now, just applying the pressure on Spicy Boy. And now Spicy Boy's got to worry about playing a little bit of defense here because now having to play with your last stock. That was kind of clean from Porkster, but though. Yeah, Porkster actually went crazy on the right side. We'll see how this goes, though. Down throw. Looking to get something going here off stage. This just kind of feels like standard JDB gameplay, you know? Yeah. Like, this, this feels very uh, normal for him. Just another day at the office. The only thing I'm <laughs> noticing that's different from a usual set, I think that's the first Hydrant we've seen. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Of course, you know, Pac-Man loving that Hydrant, such a good, like, wall-out zoning tool. What a setup there, too. Not gonna quite find the stock as Ludwig is a heavy character. But yeah, I'm noticing like a little bit of uh, less use of Hydrant. Maybe doesn't just wanted to make it too much of a maybe of a distraction. Great conversion there on the down smash off the bell. Yeah, but right now I don't even think Hydrant is necessary right now. Nope. This game one is looking pretty clean for the Curvo and the Pac-Man. Two yeah. yellow balls. Uh, and uh, you know I, I'm a Biolith main, so I'm gonna call it out. It is. It's over. Like th this is um, this is not a winnable situation for a character who is as slow as Biolith, unfortunately. Yeah. This is. Uh, I, I wish I had faith here, but um, Spicy Boy, you're in a tough spot. Yeah, you're not getting out of that one alive. Game one, JDB. Yeah, JDB. Blue, right there. Good stuff there. 
Jay John and JDV putting themselves on the board here. Let's see if Spicy, Spicy Boy and Porkster might have a... Uh, you know what I like about early pools is that you're you're more expected to see maybe character switches just to kind of like try yeah. things out, especially when you're playing against a good team like JJ and JDV. You're just like, okay, that may have worked. We could try again. However, we could, you know, let's yeah. experiment while we're here, you know? Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I think that when you're up against a team like JJ and JDV, you kind of want to stick to your guns, though. Okay. Just generally speaking, you are, um, you had a slight... A slight statistical disadvantage, slight statistical, you know? okay. Like, obviously, uh, these guys, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they are who they are. They are who they are. And yeah, so, they're going to do uh, just yeah. that. Like I say, uh, you stick to your guns. You stick to what you're most comfortable with. All right, here we go. Game two, Spicy Boy and Porcer. Unfortunate early stocks were taken, which kind of allowed the uh, the snowball effect for J. John JDV to come into their place. However, Town and City, slightly bigger stage here. Maybe they can kind of work around here, knowing that J. John JDV are going to be on the pressure all around. I feel like this is an interesting stage choice because because since this is such a large stage and neither of the characters they're playing are particularly fast, you just kind of give J. John the immediate brute. Oh yeah, like I. I kind of wanted to see something like the Smash build to, um, you know, deny that immediate value. Just, but I mean, I'm I'm curious to see if there's a reason they picked this particular stage. All right, right now going into the battle, nice hydrant conversion right there, coming out from both JJ into JDV. Right now the lead is once again just kind of like game one, but just like that when the stocks start losing, it becomes a little bit of a, a hard comeback to make happen. Yeah, all right. It's already six stocks to four. This, um, I think oh. that you've given a little bit too much momentum towards j -Jaw specifically having these brutes. Uh, the bell made a huge difference in that first stock take against, I believe it was Porkster, so. Yeah, Porkster was able to clean up a stock there on JDV, but, you know, it, it's still kind of a long climb to go here because, like, you never know what they're going to be wanting to go for. Early stock, early percentage. They want this set to be over, so you're going to have to be on the aggressive and be prepared for what they got cooking. Hydrant finds a lot of damage there. Yeah. Just on oh, the rebound. Wait, Porkster being able to get the clown card to hit JDV. No tech. That is that is quite nice for them. The, now they just need to get rid of this first Kirby stock, which is somehow still intact after still winning. Okay. See, I, I, I say how Byleth is, uh, oh, that's tough. Just I say how Byleth is slow, but theoretically, should have been able to take this stock yeah. by now. At 145, this character hits hard. Yeah, despite a nice early stock taken from JDV, it's the J-Jaw Kirby that's been holding on for dear life, allowing Yellow Team to still maintain some good vibes up and down. Porkster oh. does lose that stock, though, so. It is down to just two stocks, poor Porkster and Spicy Boy. Yeah, I think the, the biggest thing here is you gotta get rid of that Pac-Man stock. Now he's kind of like the number one priority, but JDV is gonna be pretty good about making sure to make his stock count. JDV's always been a great defensive player, right? He plays yeah. so well around that Hydrant, plays so well around the Fruit. Just everything he does is like centered around a very defensive game plan. Kind of forces you to make the first aggression. And I mean, yeah. that's kind of what's happening here. But he does have J-Jaw watching his back as well. So. 100%. All right, well, green team on their last stock on the edge of the stage. Let's see if the ultimate can clean it up. J-Jaw, j, -Jaw, j -Jaw's got Porkster. Gets the rising up there to take out Spicy Boy. Now Porkster having to fight for his life for his homie. But unfortunately, you're nope. going to take the down throw into the forward smash. Invincible move. And that is how we clean things up for, yep. the, for, the, for the yellow balls. Yep. <laughs> Yellow balls. The yellow balls of fury, dude. Taking it 2-0. They are too powerful. They are very powerful. Very powerful team. We're definitely gonna be seeing a lot more action from this team. Absolutely. Four in doubles and in singles. Watch out for them, because they are both top eight seeds for the singles bracket, which they're definitely gonna make some noise. Yeah, for sure. Sacrificial lambs. Sacrificial lambs. What did indeed. I say? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, that was a great set to watch there. <laughs> Um, we'll see uh, what we got cooking up next on the stream. Uh, shout out to all the Satellite Smash viewers. You got a Indeed. few early risers in the morning. You guys definitely are all about your, your productivity. Good Love stuff to to between Love them. To you already know. <laughs> as as <laughs> shows us the what fruit. it's like to charge fruit all day it's on the 